Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome guys to a new episode of The Body Beatdown with me, your incredible host, Michael. Yes, I have a knife. And yes, I'm in the kitchen. Today, we're going to do something uh, that you might not have done before. You Maybe you've seen it done, but uh, you've never done it. I personally have never done it myself. Of course, I've done the uh, the alternative to this, the or the, the main uh, thing that you're gonna recognize. I'll, I'll, I'll explain, here we go. Let's show you what we got. We got leftover turkey. We have turkey juice from the turkey. We have two types of cabbage. We have a little bit of corn. We have some carrots some celery so guys what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make some turkey soup now I'm substituting noodles which I would typically use an egg noodle you know little curly egg noodles uh, typically I use those in my soups but today I'm substituting it with uh, the cabbage I'm gonna cut the cabbage up and you know just some strips and all that and cook it in there and uh, and that'll give the soup some a uh, little bit more texture and kind of that noodley kind of feel, you know, to uh, uh, to some degree, I assume. I don't know, I'm guessing this part. But of course, this mixture is nothing new. It's just using turkey instead of chicken and leftover turkey juices, broth and all, uh, instead of maybe uh, the chicken. Uh, that's how I typically do my chicken soup is I bake the chicken in the oven and of course I use all that you know a good portion of the chicken I'll use and then I'll use some of its juices and all that and put in the pan and make a really good chicken noodle soup so let's get started on this and uh, we're gonna enjoy ourselves some turkey soup Come on. let's open up some carrots guys So let's go ahead and turn the eye on, eye on here. Let's go ahead and dump our turkey juices in here. Let's go ahead and put our corn. Go ahead and put the carrots. Let's go and put some of the turkey off in here. So now we're gonna cut up a little bit of celery, okay? Gotta have celery in our soup. Now for the star of the show, Little Mr. Cabbage. Cabbage is good for you. It's good stuff, guys. And uh, I've actually had this in the fridge now for a good week. And uh, it's still pretty good. I had it wrapped up in some of uh, that clear, clingy wrap stuff. So 
we're gonna mix and match the purple or the red with the green and uh, give our soup a little bit of texture guys All right, guys, you can see that's a very simple, easy to make meal. Nothing difficult about it. And you get to use your leftovers. And uh, I've already had some turkey leftovers today. I made a uh, turkey burrito uh, for lunch. So that's always good. Uh, There's all kind of stuff you can do. If you can do something with chicken, you can do something with turkey. You can do something with anything that you got. So don't, uh, don't get you know brainwashed into just thinking you can do this or that everything's interchangeable uh, food is uh, like anything else it's all subjective you know it's all uh, what you make of it uh, for yourself and you can do all kind of good stuff so uh, right now the soup is cooking and uh, we're gonna have a good healthy supper tonight All nice and colorful. Look at all the colors in there. Good stuff. And on a side note, I also got me a sweet potato. Got it wrapped up, ready to go in the oven here in a little bit. So, anyway, I'm gonna let the soup continue cooking and uh, I'm gonna stick the potato in the oven here pretty soon and uh, when it's all done, we'll do a nice little taste test and see what we think of it. All right, so stick around guys. All right guys, the soup is ready to taste. I'm not gonna eat a whole bowl of it or anything right now. It's not my supper time, it's a little bit early. And my sweet potato is still cooking anyway. But we're gonna give the soup a little taste test and uh, see what we think. So let's take a look at it. Looking good. All right, let's get us just a little bowl of it and uh, see what we think. All right, well, the moment of truth is here, guys. It smells good. Smells like turkey. I am gonna put a dash of salt. One, two, three. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. One, two, three, four. I like a lot of pepper. And if I had some Mrs. Dash table blend, I'd be putting that in there as well. I like me some Mrs. Dash Table Blend. Now this is beautiful. You've seen the colors in it. It's full of goodness, and richness, and healthy ingredients. It's probably going to burn my face off. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's more. 
Wow. That's really good, guys. Mm. Mm. I'm eating my beard. All right. Guys, I'm just going to finish off this CD bitty bit here. Now, you've seen how simple that was. Most people have leftovers. And I knew that I wanted to make some soup with this. Uh, whenever my wife cooked our Thanksgiving dinner on Wednesday, uh, I'm the one that was that uh, did the turkey and all that, you know, cutting it up and all that. And I said, I'm saving all that juice because I'm going to make some turkey soup later. So I knew that's what I wanted to do with it. And uh, you got to think ahead because a lot of times you'll throw that out. A lot of times you make like gravies and stuff with it as well. A uh, juice, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I knew I wanted to make some soup, so I made sure I put me back a big bowl of it. Uh, you've seen the ingredients, how simple it was. It's cheap to make, and uh, it's going to be healthy and good and warm my little tummy up. I will most likely do a second walk tonight. I do I normally anymore do two walks a night, or two walks a day. And whenever I walk at night, I get really, really cold. So, well, I get really cold in the day too. But anyway, and this will be a nice little warm meal to have whenever I come back in. Kind of like a little post-workout, if you will, kind of. Anyway, golly, I'm blabbering on. Anyway, guys, try some turkey soup. It's amazing. Uh, don't go overboard with the ingredients. The more simple you can keep a chicken soup or a uh, turkey soup, for that matter, uh, the better it is. Uh, a lot of times we pile too much crap in there. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, the body beat down and just a little bit of uh, stuff that I like to cook and what I'm going to enjoy. And I uh, hope you get inspiration from it. And I hope I get inspiration from you as well in some comments. Uh, let me know if you've had it before, if you've made it, uh, what else you suggest, and uh, all that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown because we need a big community in here to kick some butt and uh, inspire people to start eating better and living better and having more fun and getting up off the couch and uh, turning off the TV and going and uh, being active and taking care of themselves. All right. And by the way, look at these beautiful shirts. Look at those shirts. Oh my God, would you not look good in those shirts? Everyone in your family would look good as well. What a great holiday present. And it's spreading a great message, amazing message, it's positivity. And what does the shirts mean, Mike? What does that mean? It's simple, guys. It's real simple. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it. And we'll see you later. I'm Michael. And this is the body beat down. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this little bit of turkey soup. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!